Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge. At Madden. Yeah, so if this is the first time here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we highly recommend subscribing to stay updated with our latest content. Hit the subscription button above, click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel release a video. Remember that this channel is not an entertainment channel. You know, entertainment channels give you a hybrid between 10 to 15 minutes. This is not an entertainment channel. So you have to go elsewhere if you want entertainment. Remember to give this video a thumbs up because you will find it helpful and informative. Please remember to share the video with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, mama, papa, side chick or side man and tell them to tell a friend about the Jamaica Young Police channel. You can join the Patreon squad by doing so you will gain access to exclusive content that cannot be played on YouTube due to various restrictions. To unlock this untapped collection of videos, click the link in the description box below. Joining our Patreon community allows you to explore contents that complies with laws, rules and regulations while avoiding disruption to our channel's functionalities. You'll be able to see videos and you'll see photos, photographs, names of persons who have been killed and are and still waiting on justice like rifle of the British crew, one of the British of the Yeah, so this is part two, you know, of the um you know the Jamaican traitors overseas, yeah man, along with the PMP criminal organization plan to you know to march this march in a New York City to destroy um Brand Jamaica, yeah, them, you know, they are marching against Brand Jamaica. So when they think that they are marching against um, Andrew Wallace, they are not marching against Andrew Wallace, they are marching against Jamaica. Because Andrew Wallace don't, do not own Jamaica. Jamaica is always going to be there. So if these people love Jamaica, they would not be marching against our country. Any problem that we have, we are supposed to call it out. Just like how we have done here. They are not trying to fix any problem. They are trying to use terrorism, brute force to take over the country. That is what they are doing. And this is how the PMP operate. As a criminal organization and at times terroristic. So these are not people who love Jamaica. So we appreciate even this man, you know, who used to be a, um, a criminal from the, um, from the PMP criminal organization of Kingston 13. He used to, you know, par with a, you know, a murderer, a killer in, in a prison, um, Devon Stitchell. And, you know, you're this one. So we have make sure that we have, you know, mask his voice because we don't want to give him away. Because we know that when he listen to the channel, he loves the channel so much as him. He sent us a message and him saying that and he must say why what we are doing over here is the right thing and him applaud it and him support it. So we just want him to know that we appreciate what he has done. You understand? So we just hope we can inspire other youth and them can see that what we are doing here is not a political thing. We just want to change life. I help I want to help the youth them from the same ghetto where we come from and change them life. So this is part two. So you watch, you listen, and you decide. Have yourself an enjoyable day, um, night or wherever you are. Enjoy it. Because you're going to love it because a lot of work. Jano officer, man in our respect, you know. Why my dog got me not like police, no, but I love the channel, you see it? <laughs> For real, you like the truth, I truth this my Jano. You know what? I say pull off a thing from Dev and Stitcher, my dog still, you know? Yeah, man, I put up a thing from 13 to me, G. I'm a like where I do, you know? Yeah, man. 
we do what we have to do in a delay and down in a hole until we get out, you know? But me I be me almost I be myself and all that I throw. Yeah man, they want to see me dog. I hold it away in a tenner. But you know? Yeah man, I like we are to keep it up, yeah, MJ. Yeah man. I hold it for and told story about the third team in general. I mean I know you for hunts get right now, hunts get good as I still want me, you know. Hawks, I mean the time in try out for me dog and end up lose, you know? Yeah man, stitch under the real dog, my G. You know? But you would know still. Yeah man. Trust me, my general. You would know. Yeah man, go and do no work. Cowboy. Cowboy spot me one time and said, but me don't know you. He said, where you want to know me for? Yeah man, you didn't know me G. You scared to me I say? Up the lane we come from man, up the scheme. Yeah man, next time you talk to Stitch, big him up me Jenna. Yeah man, I'm a dog man. But Stitch under the man, hear me G? Yeah, bless up yourself, I love your channel and I subscribe to it. I like what I want. Yeah man, anything I want. I see CVM. All the intraduce. One boy in your early jet say my singer and a rasta boy. Them boy then a rasta brother. Then them man they just hide in a 12 tribe of Israel. And if you tell them, that's why I tell them they can see some of the real dog. I don't believe they come from here. I tell them. One of the PMP boy live up town here. Peter Blake live across from Hope Garden. I all the power work we do for them boys that down the lane in you know, the dog. You hear me I tell you? One of police man but one never know what time it is. As what I say, they van stitch and the real dog. The boy they just follow orders and take it. I down the lane we come from to me Jenna. Trust me you now. One of police man but one don't know what I go on down the lane G. Be a criminal in a 12 tribe of Israel hideout and I can't call Bomb Buckler and name. Trust me, you know. I can't call name from A to Z. How you think most of we end up a foreign? Are them same Bomb Buckler to one dog? You see me? Are them same one push me out? Half a good mash up then works with them. But I told them they can't hold it on radio and. You would even know. If you did your hunts there, many nights, hunts there put up on screen, picture, around pan TVJ, around pan the TV station, you see blank, the officer police man, you would even know, no say nothing man, I like your channel and I like your vibe, my G. but, trust me, if you say behave myself you now, yeah man, but you don't know, say we are gangsta, we can't change, you see me? But we do it diplomatically and I all one smart and I all one intelligent. As we say, maybe three percent of them come from Dongali and me are one of the three percent. You hear me general? Yeah man. To the bottom. You understand? Be small you see mark and all them things there, so uh, you understand, I just saw it go. You know see it. So as patriot Jamaicans we must uphold the values of unity, solidarity and respect for our country and its people. By working together at home and abroad, we can counteract negative narratives and amplify the voices of those who strive to build a brighter future for Jamaica. So that's how we care about the future of Jamaica. We don't care about the party or how our guy feel. Ultimately, our collective efforts to, pro to pro promote honesty, integrity, truthfulness and accountability will be instrumental in shaping our a more prosperous and equitable Jamaica for generations to come. Most importantly, distance oneself from criminals, killers and extortionists in Jamaica and the criminals overseas who are willing um, to sell selling drugs and sending back money and guns to Jamaica. Like Rick Dick. So let's continue to stand firm in our commitment to truth and justice and work tirelessly towards a better future for all Jamaicans.
You know that these people have been spreading propagandas and lies. You know, with their primary goal to destroy Jamaica in the international community. And as as a Jamaican living in the diaspora, you as a patriot Jamaican must be sh must shun. The, you must shun them, denounce them, shame them, and disassociate yourself from these people who are affiliated and mouth pieces for the PMP criminal organization, which is not a nation builder, but an organization that seeks to undermine and destroy the lives of the poor people in their midst because of their ignorance, arrogant, and belligerent behavior. If we live, if we believe that God will help us against against these enemies of Jamaica, we better take heed and know that God help those who help themselves as these people seek one thing and only one thing. What is in it for me? So they don't care about Jamaica. So it's understandable to feel frustrated and disillusioned by individuals or group claiming to have Jamaica's best interest at heart while engaging in behavior undermining the country's well-being. Our commitment to Jamaica, often called Team Jamaica, and this reflects a deep patriotism and desire to see, the, see Jamaica strive. So if, when you hear we say Team Jamaica, we don't say it because I just say it, we are say it because we are patriots. We want to see Jamaica strive as a nation. So when offered constructively and to promote positive change, criticism can be powerful tool for all in leaders and institutions accountable and driving progress. As intelligent and discerning individuals, it's essential to question and challenge those who seek to exploit or manipulate their gain regardless of their political affiliation. All of those the all of these people who are promoting another demonstration against the Jamaican government and Jamaican people, irrespective of their political allegiances, are traitors. Plain and simple. Yeah. Mark Gummibeer, yeah man, he's the one who's behind it who has support them. Um, uh, so he's a traitor. You can't let a traitor lead your country. No? So that's why I would tell you, you now the decent Jamaicans have to save us from these people. If you're not of your country, you're a traitor. Him say my Jamaican, yeah, but I'm not born born Jamaican. Gummibeer never born in a Jamaica period. And we know Jamaica is a corrupt place and you can't buy a birth certificate. Anybody don't know that I'm a Jamaican. Because we know all Jamaican people have all six passports one time. I just time change and you understand and based on technology you now, yeah, no guy can't tamper with no passport and anything because there are certain codes in a passport, digital codes, even if you change the photograph or anything, it all shows you know, yours. We are telling that. That's how them do it. So we we continue we continue, you know, the, the journey. You understand? So all these people are, are promoting another demonstration again. And uh, them, them, them are enemy of Jamaica. So also those, those within the PMP criminal organization are responsible in everywhere or else they would denounce a group, this group and individual for throwing dirt at Brand Jamaica. So if the PMP criminal organization did not support these people marching against Jamaica to tarnish Jamaica's name in the international community, Mark Gummibeer, and the PMP criminal organization would come out and say, hey, look here, you can't do that, man. If you do that, or you can't go and demonstrate against Jamaica overseas, against brand Jamaica. But the good thing is that, look, most of the Jamaican people in our diaspora won't support them. Not even the PMP criminal organization supporters them will live in uh, the States because you're, they have to work all two and three job. You understand? So all of these people who are being paid are paid consultants and activists online um, you know, for the PMP criminal organization. They can do it. But the people that live in America, them can do it. Because time is of essence here. And a Jamaica this. So, you know, I will tell the people, them say, look here, don't support these people. You understand who are against Jamaica because, and against brand Jamaica. Yeah, man, these people, you must stay far from them. So by remaining vigilant, and actively engaging in discussion about Jamaica's future, we can build a society based on integrity, transparency, and respect for all citizens. Our dedication to Jamaica's well-being is commendable, and our commitment to speaking out against wrongdoing demonstrates a genuine concern for the country's future. So, as you hear, you hear the, uh, as you hear the, you know, the criminals say, "Boy, I'm not there as yet," but you hear him say, "Boy, well, we are speaking true." 
That's why them that's why them them cannot come out and say you know, say uh a lie my tell upon the PMP criminal organization or lie my tell upon the GLP because we speak the truth and the truth not supposed to be biased and not because you like somebody or something you ignore the truth. No, we don't do that. We are telling you as it is. As the year we tell as the year we tell the Prime Minister, as the year we say and we criticize the GLP, we always say FLA need for this man and give back to the police because it's a cost the taxpayers their money. But I see them people them with the gun down and them are fair pay. The same people them, you know, where I license them gun. And them are fair pay for people, pay for these people. We are work there. When the police was there, it was easy. It, the government they not paying the money for arms to the police because the soup already have him job. And they have a specific day when they do all of these things. But no, because the PMP criminal organization them bad mind because the police, guess what? The police gave Vibes Cartel a license gun. And them see money, you know, look, remember, I said, Jack, you got a prison for rape. And them get Jack Hewer uh, for, for rape a woman and they get Jack Hewer gun. We see Al Caswell Campbell two times him get this deported from America. That time man was shoot um shoot the firefighter in a St. James. And we see him him get license gun. A woman deported twice and one country with drugs. And him get license gun. Because we have a corrupt system there. Even in a police, the hierarchy of police force is corrupt. Who write all of these reports? Rev get license gun. And up to now we don't see nobody being forced to resign. I want to see the police being charged for any form of corruption for writing all of these um, background reports and give these people a clean bill of help. Criminals, you understand? So that for sure said, you know, the, the government of Jamaica not only say not only say it's corrupt, but boy, it's just corrupt from the head down. Normally in a society and them thing there, you know, that you try to grow for become a first world country. You know, all of the people they must sign all of these documentation will be held accountable. When people in the power, I see him think that um, the super name Samuels at Unsby had to resign just to give Vice Cartel a gun and the man never get a penny. You understand? Uh, Vice Cartel never gave him a dollar for the gun because he not even did know who is Vice Cartel because the man is a churchman. And the man was forced. The man was resigned because just she save she, um save face. Yeah man, because the man did have enemies all around because um, Reggie Grant, done by CIB headquarters, he wanted, he wanted the government to give them, done by CIB headquarters, yeah, give them the authority to issue a gun because through them a thief. And I say PMP, them take it away. Take it, take it from the police and create an entity for them, friend. In which FLA is one of the most corrupt agencies in Jamaica, in a 2024. The police force not even half as corrupt as them, I tell you that. So moving on, yeah man, is that you know? So together as members of Team Jamaica, let's continue to advocate for accountability, justice, and unity, working towards a brighter and more equitable future for all Jamaicans. So we are not naive or dummies. We are intelligent people who are not a part of the Gaza Nation. To a broader extent, the PMP criminal organization, supporters, and activists, we can think. We don't know how our brain to any political party. And we know who's for criminals and who's are against criminals. And we support the ones who are against criminals, not the ones who are for criminals. No, we're against them, period. We want back the country and want it back from all these 63 people, both Labour right and PMP, but we see the Labour right them willing to work with we and give we a better deal when they come on to crime. Because we want criminals to guy go to prison. And, you know, our next thing, you know, we want the government to create an environment that these guys work. When they go to prison, they work. You understand? Yeah, man, man want feel, man want feel done well with himself because I hurt. Like when him done work and come, when him done work and go back to himself and go be I tell you, him, yeah, man, him eat being in a prison and them things. Cause them not like work. So when him go prison them for work, you understand? So, so we are as we tell us, we are not dummy. You understand what I'm saying? You know, so you know, so that is why you know. You see, we we are a group of people who have always. For Jamaica, yes, Team Jamaica. That is why we criticize anyone, regardless of their political leanings or affiliation. We criticize even the Prime Minister and the Jamaica Labour Party. And it's on the channel. And to those of you who want your, um, to quench your PMP criminal organization appetite, because it's most of you, because most of you, you know, uh, most of you, we are telling us, most of you can read and understand. So you have to look, you know, you're spending on the channel if you want, if you want to find the GLP LGBTQ plus playlist. Just look on your channel up, you're going to see a video. Yeah, um, you, you're going to see a video. If you're on your phone, yes, when you go to the channel, you know, yeah, when you go to the Jamaica Young Police channel, you're going to see um I think it's a video. 
when you go straight, you, so you um you, you go to the Jamaica Young Police Center, you click beside the logo where you see the Jamaica Young Police Center, you click on it, you tap on it. All right, when you tap on it now, you're going to take it now. Where you're going to look at it? At the top of the, 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 the LCD, you're going to see where it says subscribe. If you already subscribe, yeah, you see it, you're going to show so you subscribe. Then you look to your left, you see home. Beside home, you see videos. Beside videos, you see short. Beside short, you see live. So we do some live live um you know live video, you know, with the audience. So you can click there and you can watch those videos. Then you can watch the, uh, you can watch the live videos. Then you go to the playlist. When you tap use your, your, your thumb and tap on playlist. When you tap on the playlist now, you just look. So as we, we tap on it the first, uh, you know, it um it all depends if you want to add it from the oldest or to the latest. If you add it to the oldest, that means you're going to see from the first time. We are the Jamaica Young Police Channel, the first video that we have done. And if it's from the newest, you're going to see the first first the first the you know the latest video that we add to the playlist. So as you can look now, you can see boy, yeah, I'm on a old old long look up it and take it. Him just say, give me that. A brother named Jubi, yeah. You understand? We and um, we and Thomas OC Jubi. Oh, see, art of, art of, you know, art of, art of gold. But, you know, we have a different name for him on the channel. You understand? So, and then you can scroll through now and look. The scroll up. Yeah, scroll up until you see the JLP criminal organized, um, the Jamaica Labour Party, um, JLP LGBTQ plus playlist. And you just, hey, thousands, um, hundreds of videos there. You understand? So, you can just watch them. So, you know, if you say, oh, you're biased on this and that. So, you just go there. So right now you look now um the, uh, yeah a PMP criminal organization um gunman that um blacky boy yeah man him girlfriend is a gasset police officer in a Jamaica constabulary force a dep she a deputy super you know. criminal they with police where officer gasset officer in a police force and get all promotion too recently so we are tell you so he's covered by police intelligence at Kingston West Division money run things. So when you have all them kind of thing you know, in the police force, the police force go backwards. Or all the police women were affiliated with a Dan. With a Dan. Become all a deputy soap. Or because you're in a special branch, that's why you miss all of them things there. Where is why I'm gonna put up a photograph of her because one and two little things. You understand? But you know, she has been promoted to deputy soap. And she did with this man who was a Dan. This is a man where that's the man who is responsible. When we say responsible for the death of um, Danville Palmer's girlfriend, yeah, that's the man, Blackie. And you know, that, yeah, and he he has nothing to do with Danville Palmer's uncle's death, but he's the one that responds because him send him, you know, him send him goon them, um, you know, where come from downtown if it, you know, for liquid Danville Palmer. And he must keep and I and her girlfriend die. Uh, she's dead. She's the one that live her. Yeah, she have, she get her ticket, everything checked, she have visa and everything. And one way ride and she gone. You understand? So I just saw it go. Criminal organization Jamaica. So we are deeply troubled by what is perceived as a lack of accountability and moral integrity among specific individuals in the diaspora. The example we have cited including Dr. Rupert Francis, former FBI agent Wilf Wilfred Rattigan, Wayne Ugly Sum, Mark Gummy Beer Golden. Leader of the PMP criminal organization in Jamaica highlight concern about actions and allegiances of those who hold position, positions and influence our authority. Juxtaposition between the treatment of individuals involving criminal activities and those embroiling personal scandal within the PMP criminal organization and the other political party raises essential question about consistency, fairness and ethical leadership. The apparent tolerance of the PMP criminal of the of, of criminal behavior in the PMP criminal organization led by Mark Gummibeer Golden, who hasn't kicked out Jylan Sylvia who is accused of killing his wife, Melissa Sylvia, so we said Justice and Melissa, you understand? Yeah, Justice and Melissa Sylvia who is accused of killing his wife Melissa Sylvia and is in jail at the Kingston Central Police Lockups and an active member of the PMP criminal organization operating as a political party, but it's not. While st st simultaneously condemning personal indiscretions of Opel Purcell, undermines those in power, credibility and moral authority, and show that Mark Golden of the PMP criminal organization has none. 
So my goal is not no moral authority. Him not no moral or ethics or decency or truthfulness. Because him kick out Opel Purcell out of the party just because the man take a picture of him body and send him gear next man. I feel him body, you know. Yeah. So him never harm anyone. And not, we're, not, we're not here promoting no real admiral behavior, you know. We don't want to believe it, you know. You are not here. We cannot do anything about it. Because we're born, come see it, and it's there from time. From the creation, from creation. Where God sent all them angels, them go down, uh, you know, you understand. And you can't even say all them things there. You say all them something there, your channel get it. Just to speak the truth. Your channel get it. Uh, you understand. And them, hey, them people are easy, you know. I tell you, you know. So we still live in our world. You are just liars rule, you know. So nobody feel like saying, you know, because you have like a freedom. You feel like you're free, what? You're not free nothing. The only time you're free, you're dead. So you have to just make it right. You can't no, allow to sell your soul on this world and... Uh, and you gain the world, and when you go in, when you go in, you know, next, 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 next world, you are nothing. So you just do the right thing. It's not always right, but what is right, you understand? Yeah. So we continue. So, yeah, man. So the man mash up Opel, you know, um, you felt um, Opel Purcell, you know, kick him out of the party because the man take picture of him body. So on the flip side, yeah, man, we are showing on the flip side, Prime Minister Andrew Wilness. Fired and kicked out Royal Reed from the Jamaica Labour Party. Once he identified criminal behavior on his path without his hesitation and reservation. So, if this is a man, alright, so the Prime Minister now have a man in a theme party with thief. And the Prime Minister not even waiting a man. He must kick out the man, he must even wait till the man charge, kick him out. Uh, While the PMP you have a man in charge of murder and him die in jail and him still in a party. So, the absence of balance and moral clarity in addressing these issues perpetuate a culture of impunity and erodes public trust in institutions. With accountability and transparency, it uploads, it upholds decency, ethics, morality, truthfulness and justice. Concerning Jamaicans in the homeland and the diaspora, it is essential to demand accountability from opposition leader Mark Gummibier Golden. So I'm right there now, so that's a Mark Gummibier Golden. So Mark Golden, top killer Danville Palmer, got gunshot from Matches Lane men and they kill his girlfriend. Gunmen must live in a fear of losing their lives. So you reap where you sow. So Danville Palmer, you know, you see care that, that I care where, where them shut up. Yeah, and we see, uh, we, you know, we, uh, we saw the car. It's in a central police station. We don't know why I'm not sell it. Why Danville Palmer not sell the car? Because his car, maybe, them, you understand? Because they don't need that for a court. Because the photograph, they already taken. So he just need for um, sell the car. You understand? I still can't make money from it. So the people them uh, you you have to make certain say gummy beer going um you know is held accountable and you understand. You, you, you know see it. So and his leadership. So you have to understand you know, so the PMP criminal organization and its leadership in the international community, this parade in the name of Brand Jamaica in the global arena. Suppose he um, Mark going to be a goal and cannot distance himself from these traitors that I want them to go mar march tomorrow. In that case, Mark going to be a goal and is a traitor to the Jamaican people at home and abroad. So if he not denounce them, we must do everything to ensure that this man never become, becomes Prime Minister because he does not love Jamaica and its inhabitants, regardless of political affiliation or personal connections. Upholding the rule of law and promoting ethical governance is, is, is fundamental to fostering a just and equitable society. Based on our experiences growing up and working in Jamaica, the PMP criminal organization is not a political party, but a criminal organization. Yeah, we are telling you that. Our sentiments underscore the importance of accountability and justice within political parties and their wider society. Seeking leniencies, leniency for criminal behavior undermine the rule of law and erode public trust in political institutions. Political parties are responsible for upholding ethical standards and adhering to the principle of principles of justice and integrity. Any organization that condone or seeks leniency for criminal activities within its ranks must be perceived as complicit in criminal behavior and a criminal organization and the PMP are the epitome of such lobbying process in Jamaica. So the PMP is the one that lobby for criminals, 
lobby for, le um, for lesser sentence and leniency. So the PMP is not a political party, they are a criminal organization. Because in a functioning democracy, political parties play a vital role in representing the interests of citizens and shaping public policy. However, when political parties prioritize the protection of individuals engaged in criminal behavior over the well-being of the society, they betray the electorate, trust, and undermine the democratic process. The PMP criminal organization has been doing the same for decades while the people remain silent, dumb, blind, and deaf. We at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we will open their eyes and ears. Enough is enough. So we are telling people them the truth. The PMP is not a political, it's a criminal organization. Once you are lobby for leniency for criminals, and we are going to do a video and make you see all of the video them where the PMP them are lobby for criminals out there. And you see it's a criminal organization. We are telling you, we are going to open our eyes. So citizens must hold political parties accountable for their actions and demand transparency and accountability in all aspects of governance. By advocating for ethical leadership and adherence to the rule of law, we can work towards building a society where justice is upheld and criminal behavior is not tolerated or excused. That is why the PMP criminal organization is a dangerous for you Jamaicans at home and abroad as the Jamaica Labour Party is a little better or much better than them until better comes. So right now, yeah, so you're looking right now you know, to uh, two Jamaicans, yeah, so they are the epitome of Jamaican patriots who are for Team Jamaica and are not traitors of Jamaica, yeah man, so you're looking at two Jamaicans, yeah, and you know, say, we are telling you know, the PMP criminal organization supporters, you know, yeah man, and them send it coming and say, oh, you know, say, you know, say the leader, you know, say the party leader, and you know who the matter, Mark Gummy be a goal in. Them say party leader say, oh, Hussein Bolt and Chris Gale, it's what them are labor right. I mean, I say, oh, yeah, because them try to seek out, um, them want Hussein Bolt. You know, if they denounce the government through the SSL thing and all them something, and disparage them publicly, uh, and they not do that, so because Hussein do that now, them say, my labor right. You understand? So, more or less now, them say, boy, him start listening to Vibes Cartel, some called Vibes Cartel, a PMP. You understand? And him are promoting one thing, positivity. So that's why we tell you say PMP is a dangerous criminal organization. So moreover, fostering a culture of integrity and accountability requires collective actions and engagement from all members of society. By holding ourselves and others accountable for our actions and advocating for ethical leadership, we can contribute to building a more just and compassionate Jamaica for future generations. And that's that what we want. Yeah, we want for a better, we want to create a, a few, you know, a compassionate Jamaica for future, future generations. So Dr. Rupert Francis, yes, former FBI agent Wilfred Watchick, Ratick and Wayne Uglesome and others. Wayne Uglesome, the man who failed the police there seven times, are the epitome of Jamaican traitors. Because they will do anything to destroy their country of birth in the wrong way. These men will not be denouncing criminality, encouraging youths not to kill each other, and also telling the PMP, PMP hierarchy that it is a slap in the face of decent, honest, ethical and law-abiding Jamaican citizens to have Jylan Silvia, who is in jail for killing the mother of his children and active member of the PMP criminal organization. But Mark Gummibier Golden kicked out Opel Purcell for taking a photo of his body and sent to another man, which is a private matter and had nothing to do with the parties or its image, and that he did not kill anyone. Where's the balance? Where's the decency, ethics, morality, truthfulness, and justice? If you're going to kick out a man because him take a picture of him body and send to a next man, how that bother you? How is that a problem to you? I feel him think that him free for doing more and we can't tell people if we do because we are not God. The Bible, you know, it's a basic instruction before leaving earth. If you don't believe in the Bible, that's a your thing. If you don't believe what God say, He's going to do with you uh, based upon how you live on this earth. You go ahead and be, because if you feel say God is going to negotiate with you, and God afraid of you, like how Gummy Bear want the Prime Minister and the Jamaican people for afraid of him. When he lose the election, I might tell you, say him win, and get everybody in a fall, and get all even all, all Philip Powell in a fall, and uh, you understand if you kiss up him ass. We're not afraid of no guy. God's going to be a punk. 
big punk. You understand? Coward. The man, you understand what I'm saying? But with my jungle, you don't know jungle, nothing. You don't know it feels for sleep down there, sir. You don't know when you wake up in the morning, the aroma of dog, dog, DD, fill the ear. You understand? And it become a normal, like a normal. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't know where my talk about. You understand? So the, the decision by these men to march against brand Jamaica is a betrayal of one's birth country. As at the current time, the country's economy, transparency, ethics, morality and truthfulness are at an all-time high. And this government has shame, unlike the previous government since 1989. So the government have shame. You don't say the government is not shame because I least corrupt or at least scandal we ever have on our government since 1989. Hey, when the PMP criminal organization in the power, every month you get a scandal. So you have to give a brother here. Yeah. So whether you like him or not like him, or whether you are a fan of him or not, you have to give him credit. Because him, uh, yeah. No, we have said, hey, look, yeah, you have to say truth. You know, not because, you know, you know, because they not do things with, with you know, where we would have liked to sit down. Yeah, because they don't like for we, we would have like, yeah, these are two, uh, two of our biggest beef, you know, we have with the Jamaican government, you know. One, them, them have the police, they might take fingerprint for them, for, um, for license gun. For, you know, they have to do fingerprint for apply for a gun license. Two, two, the same police have to get competence certificate for you to get a firearm license. Them thing the extortion against the police. That, that, uh, so, you know, we are outlining our problem. All right, then after that now, police... It, police are denied um, access to a license gun because them say, boy, him don't need it. Oh, come on. Jamaica, vi Jamaica violent. Muda say 300% time than when I was there as a detective. And it's dangerous. Right. It, it, now in a Jamaica, a policeman, family, mother, father is at risk of being killed because of the PMP criminal organization. May I tell you that? They are the ones that are nurtured, cultured, domesticated these people for kill and then they might tell them say you want 12 to 12 um, 8 to 12 years and then forget parole at second life second chance at life you understand that's why we're at that juncture we burn fire upon them people man you know we know that so we tell us so that's our thing now we believe that every young police from him graduate from training school based upon and you know say you have some instructor you know or some people about training school. If they don't like you, you know, them can't just write bad things about you. We are say, if a young police when him graduate from training school, him forget a keep and carry gun. Yeah, give him a keep and carry gun to protect himself. Jamaica have violent place. Every three person on the street have illegal gun. You understand? In my days, as a young police officer, you're afraid for, you're, uh, you're afraid for people you know say you're a police because you don't want to lose your life. And imagine now when gun is so prevalent in a Jamaica. Look, I have never involved in a, uh, well, I'll not, uh, well, you know, I've never involved in a shootout where you recover two M16 and three and gun as the as the police officers did, you know, two days ago. So that goes show you the prevalence of guns in a Jamaica. It's it, it's out of, out, it's just mind boggling, and because of the PMP criminal organisation leaning towards criminals, that's why. The, in, the influx of gun in my country, you know, you know, you understand, it's unbelievable. So as citizens, it's crucial to remain vigilant and actively engage in civic processes. Ensure our voices are heard and our concerns addressed by demanding accountability and transparency from our leaders and institutions. We can work towards building a more just and equitable society for all Jamaicans, both at home and abroad. When the PMP criminal organization loves you, or you are close to the leadership, you can commit murder and you are still an active member of the same. However, former Education Minister Ruel Reed, who was arrested and charged with fraud for stealing from the Jamaican people's coffers, was kicked out before he was arrested and charged by the leader, Prime Minister Andrew Wilness. So we just show you the difference between the party them. One party of a man in a prison, in a jail, Jail and Sylvia for murder him wife, him still active. 
He in a jail, you know, remand, because I murdered him, killed him wife and say, she dead from brain aneurysm, and he look right now, because Mark going to be a golden. We march with him, he march with a dangerous gunman, gang leader, and killer Danville Palmer. That's the same man, you know, we get a youth where you look earlier, we show you the youth photograph, Miss Monica's son. Yeah, we not call the youth name, because we believe in a redemption. If you give him back him gun, because, sure, youth, you not even know where you go, what happened to you. You understand? So these are the people that will support criminality and criminals, yeah. You understand? So they are not for the rule of law. These people who are Jamaican traitors living in foreign lands plan to march against, again, uh, march in New York City tomorrow, Friday, May 10th, against Brand Jamaica. Why would someone want to see their country fall or reputation destroys, destroyed by lies? So let's try to make sense of their planned action. They did it in Miami, Florida, and it was a feel and shameless march because Jamaicans in South Florida have more sense than to stand outside the Jamaican consulate to demonstrate, demonstrate and tarnish brand Jamaica, which is celebrated more than any other country in the Caribbean Sea, in the international arena. Jamaicans at home and abroad, there is no doubt to show you who are the enemies of Jamaican people. And it is the PMP criminal organization and their members, officers, activists, and supporters. And we are telling you the truth. The labor, they never do that. Some are willing to destroy your lives by encouraging you into a life of killing like Danville Palmer. Danville has lost his girlfriend and uncle. So we are telling you to stay away from Mark Golden. He's your enemy. He may not go out to go fire a gun, you know. He may tell if he go out to kill, he understand for fire a gun. So Danville Palmer gets shot in my ball, iron in his foot now. He barely can scramble. So it's a matter of time before, the, before him, him, uh, him, get him, him get him one way flight. Once him ticket book, boop, yeah man, straight to the departure lounge. No, ret no return, no cancellation, no refund. And him have him safe flight. Yeah. So as member of Team Jamaica, we have a strong feelings about the upcoming demonstration organized against Brand Jamaica and not the Prime Minister who is the country's elected representative. So on a on a Andrew Wallace them a march again in a, a Jamaica them a march in a, so when they tell us a, 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 a Jamaica a brand Jamaica them a march, march, march again. When Andrew Wallace is dead and gone Jamaica is still there. So a Jamaica them a march again. But because them not, they are not the ones who are in charge of Jamaica, they you understand? So they might they try to use terrorist tactics against the Jamaican people to put them in a power. Really? Yeah, you understand? All, all the only thing we know is that PMP is good for, for create criminals. We are telling you that. That's all on the door. At PMP community will come from. You understand? So it is understandable to feel concerned about the potential implications of such demonstrations for Jamaica's reputation and political stability. Still, these traitors are willing to burn down Jamaica and rule over the ashes rather than help Jamaica grow and denounce criminality, criminals and criminality in a Jamaica. Them not do it because, look, a theme core base that, you know, Mark going be your goal in. Murderers, you understand? Like all the fight, like the, the, the four gunmen, them where, you understand, uh, where police them, you know, send them straight to the departure lounge. All of them come from PMP, criminal organization, community. However, it is essential to approach discussions about political leadership and and opposition activities with nuance and consideration for different perspectives. While it's natural for individuals who have differing political beliefs and, and allegiances, fostering constructive dialogue and engagement is crucial rather than resorting to divisive rhetoric or ac accusations. So the de decision to demonstrate against Brand Jamaica reflect the kind of mindset and grievances of specific segment of the population who feel marginalized or disenfranchised by current government policies or actions because the government is not allowing these people in the diaspora to extort the Jamaican government by forcing the government to meet with them and give them jobs and pay them to communicate with the government of Jamaica who refuse to meet with, with people whose modus operandi are akin to terrorists and criminals. Peaceful protest is fundamental. Democratic right 
and it can serve as a mechanism for holding leaders accountable and advocating for a change. And if these people are legitimate, have legitimate grows against brand Jamaica, do it in our homeland, Jamaica, and not in a foreign country. Because by doing the same, you are dousing, you are closing that, you, you are dousing that you're, you're showing that your loyalty is not to the Jamaican people and Jamaica, but to your political party, which is the criminal organization, the PMP. At the same time, all stakeholders must prioritize the well-being and interests of Jamaicans as a whole, rather than pursuing political agendas as the, at the expense of, the national, of national unity and stability. Respect for democratic, democratic norms and institution is essential for maintaining the integrity of Jamaica's democratic process and fostering trust in governance. As citizens, it's crucial to remain engaged in political processes, advocate for transparency and accountability, and work towards building a society that reflects our shared values of justice, equality, and respect for all. By promoting value, and dialogue, understanding and collaboration, we can overcome divisions and work towards a brighter future for Jamaica and its people. Where are the concerted effort, efforts by the PMP criminal organization leadership to help the government combat crime in Jamaica and build a better nation? Where are they? Where is Mark Gummibeer Golden? Where are they? When Michael Manley, P.J. Patterson, and Portia Simpson Miller were Prime Ministers of Jamaica. Not one single demonstration were ever planned, orchestrated, and done overseas by the opposition Jamaica Labour Party, led by Edward Siaga, Bruce Golden, or Andrew Wolness, as they know it would be unpatriotic to do the same because it would hurt brand Jamaica. So you see the difference now. When the PMP in a power, you know, the Labour Party, my opposition, and them now organize and demonstrate against the PMP government. Everything them do it back home and in as opposition and let the people them know say why them supposed to become the government. But no, these people now because them eat Jamie because it's not their party in a power and a them party a government. So they're willing to burn down Jamaica and rule over ashes. So that is what they're doing. That's the reason why they're doing this. They don't love Jamaica. They must have a PMP criminal organization and them want. Because they are not in power, them vex. But on a certain word, my brother, you know, when you, are, when you are damaged brand Jamaica, you are damaged Jamaica. And you are doing it for your party, so you are rather for burn on Jamaica and rule of white ashes. You are not patriots. You are Judas. You are traitors. All of you. So what is about to happen, again, show you that the foreign born man, Mark Gummibeer Golden, yes, is hungry for power because he wants to enter the government to rob the people's kaffa. Because you know, him, I, I, once a thief, I'll use a thief. You know. Remember saying, uh, remember saying uh, up to now, I'm still not uh, declaring him asset. Because I'm hiding in a trust fund. Everything I hide and all of that money, when I have on a hide, a peep are from people, a people who commit suicide. I rob them, rob people with the fin sack thing. You know. when, the, when the world was growing, you know, Jamaica, instead of Jamaica grow, a Jamaica go down because if you, hey, look here, if you get, if you get a man, who is not trained to you know to create and uh, um, to build wealth or to create jobs? The only thing they know for do is to dismantle everything. That's all the PMP criminal organization is good for is to create criminals. So when they were in power, they weren't growing the economy. All they was doing was destroying people's lives. And by destroying people's lives, that's how all of these people make money. Yeah, all of them. Yeah, man. Mark gonna be a golden, Peter Bunting, um, PJ Patterson, Omar David. But guess what? Uh, yeah, hey, uh, and Bobby Pickersgill. Him, Bobby Pickersgill, him not even want like no snail. Him, him, <laughs> no, him, no, him want like snail. Because him wicked, you know, him thief too, you know. Yeah, man, him, the whole of them all allegedly thief for much money from the Jamaican people's covers and them corrupt. Remember all the traffic or thing. Yeah, you understand? So, him if you get help, you know, people have to hold all him and for him work. Yeah, man, because him do things same as young every day. All their wickedness with them do a combat now and a bite them, you know. PJ Patterson now, him want like a turtle. Him get up at 8 o'clock and him try to walk, go out by in him, the middle of him yard. 
by the time him reach out there, he have to come back because time for him go in bed. Because at night come down. A turkey, him, no one nobody carry me. Because I'm going to try exercise. But you know, say, a sin, I have to bite them, you know, wickedness. You understand? Yeah. So Jamaican people must stop. Stop him and the PMP criminal organization and ever becoming the Prime Minister of this country, Jamaica. Gummy Beer was never born here. We know that Jamaica is a corrupt society and any person can buy a Jamaican birth certificate. We know that. Because we know people with all five and six passports on without Jamaica. You understand? So the term Jamaican traitors overseas is not a simple label, but a complex concept that can be interpreted in various ways, depending on the context. A Jamaican traitor betrays Jamaica's interests and could collaborate with or undermine the country's reputation and that is what these men are planning for tomorrow in New York City. Someone, so we are telling you who are Jamaican traitors here, someone who abandons or criticizes Jamaica. This is more subjective view. Some might consider anyone leaving Jamaica for a better opportunity overseas a traitor. Yeah, so some people say, oh, you know, say so you're a traitor. No, you left, you left go for him because the reason why we left are because the PMP didn't have power and the corruption didn't kill the police force and the Jamaican people. And we couldn't do nothing about it because of them in charge. And we see them promote people who commit robbery, murder, and it's known. And we say, no, them people are here in charge. Are we? So we just left. <laughs> we couldn't stay. I pay, when, why, why we leave now when the PMP criminal organization are power? Because of corruption and not kill we. So we was Dr. Rupert from this when the PMP criminal organization, government, defund the JCF. We had to use bicycles to fight crime at Unspear. See the police them here. And not not one not the only somebody from, from the photograph you look at, I black man when he pope, he might only want to get promotion and he left as DSP. Nobody else. Eventually even Al Nel Al Nelson, you know, I mean I got boy Nelson a PMP, you know. Even Al Nelson I feel left. Because I see him PMP criminal organization. Show him and I boss to do the right thing. You understand? CMP and criminal um, um, assistant commissioner of police there at night plant gunshot man super cat and then right say Nelson find it and Nelson charge him and me talk to Nelson and tell him say, don't send an innocent man to prison I mean I get about 15 years me tell him say, don't send an innocent man to prison because I ask him about it because everybody from Crackburn Pen, Jeremy Lee all kind of people come to me and uh, you understand all the people bye bye all kind of people and um, all even all criminal yeah um, um I can't remember all bully old corals and bread and him and them thing there. Be a shoe, I'll be a shoe, come to me and you know, you know a criminal and you know, I saw it go on them thing there and you have a youth uh, he used to power with he used to power with Josie, you know, Josie um him a PMP still do, you know. I mean that's even my name, you know. Then be shut him up, you know. I mean, I remember my name and him I'll him come on them thing there and say, Boy, we are begging for cause we know say a year youth. Cause we know say yeah, you know, a you a year school him a come from cause hey, get the people smart, you know. So them say we are bigger, bigger, we are bigger, Chris, Mr. Porter, we are bigger for talk to you. Make him do your right thing. Cause we know say from where I tell you say and I saw it go, I saw it go, you know, you understand. I'm to talk to him. I want me to talk to you, man. You know, man tell me, say, yeah, boy, I'm gonna find a shot for the man and all them things there. You know. I'm tell him say, hey, look here, remember, you know, I will we you know we come from. I see him background and them thing there. So, you know, no follow people and them thing there. A country him come from cowboy, come from St. Mary, a country. So him no know, him no understand the dynamics. I get to him just as him a police. So him no see things like oh we see, it. you understand. And I saw you cast people for eight police more when they tell life on people. But then not a problem for us. You understand? Cause I saw them stay. So you know talk to him and the man do the right thing. And you know the next thing you know, them come at uh, him them come at and you know destroy him and send him uh, put him back in a uniform and send him a mobile reserve. I'm just say you know what. Just F this and him just resign and just come to America. And him much, much better now. You can't tell him not about the police force or anything. I'm experienced and I was a bad police, you know. When I say bad and an ordinary, hey, you see, as much as, well, you know, because him never, him never did, yeah, him, him, you know, as much as get a bad, him did bad, him did bad like get a, you know. Or, you understand, you know, bad, yeah, man, they're not, the man in a player, man, I tell you. You understand, so, yeah, we give thanks, so we serve, say, so, you know. The man I come through the school and them thing they are bad police that man, you understand? Why well, right they say I look at some hey me I tell the man we make sense uh, them time eh? red deal smurder and them thing the man. When you see that uh, red boy, <laughs> you understand. I tell you. So those were the days, you understand, so you understand you understand. 
Yeah, so you know, say them say, boy, you know, you, you know, because you migrate and you know, um, people will say, boy, for better opportunity overseas, they will say, yeah, you're disloyal and you're a traitor. So there's a long history of Jamaicans migrating abroad for work and better op opportunities. This doesn't make them traitors. So we know, uh, yeah, them can't call you traitors because the reason why we left are because of corruption by PMP criminal organization. So those are, oh, yeah, traitors. Yeah, we left when PMP government, PMP criminal organization government in a power. So you can't tell me nothing. We are patriot. Patriotism and loyalty can be complex. People can love their country and criticize its government for government or live elsewhere. But you do it constructively as we we criticize the Jamaica Labour Party government because we don't hold no water for, for no guy. So the term traitor, uh, it might seem harsh to some people for the you know, men babies in the PMP criminal organization. A more nuanced way to describe someone's action our belief might exist. But we choose the latter. So that's why we say, oh, no one uh, yeah, I understand. Say PMP is a criminal organization. So we have articulated a balanced perspective on the upcoming demonstration against Jamaica and the broader political landscape in Jamaica. We recognize the importance of engaging in discussions with nuance and respect for differing viewpoints while emphasizing the fundamental democrat democratic right to peaceful protest. Acknowledge need the frustration and grievances of specific specific population segment is essential for understanding the motivations behind such demonstration. Peaceful protests serve as a means of expressing discontent with government policies or action. It can contribute to holding leaders accountable for their decisions. Still, in this case, there is no justification to do so in a foreign land to hurt brand Jamaica and all involve our enemies of Jamaican people and Jamaica, all, including Mark Gummibier, Golden, because he's the man behind it, you know. Yeah, man. So, him, and we have, put it, we have to put the label upon him, you know. He's a traitor, Jamaican traitor. We don't have to put nothing out there no, no, no more, and no nice business. We know, say, Mark Gummibier, he will destroy, he will destroy the life you know, of, of youths, you know. Mark Golden will destroy your lives by encourage you in a life of killing like Danville Palmer. I'm soon gonna depart you know. him Danville have lost his girlfriend and uncle. Stay away from Mark Golden. Stay away from Mark Golden. His poor youth's biggest enemy. So Mark Golden, if you're poor, you know, he may be biggest enemy as a youth, you know, I want you to kill people for him. For an PMP criminal organization. So you stay far from him. We are telling you that. You understand? Yeah. So there's no there's no reason for these people to demonstrate because you know we have one of the least corrupt government in Jamaica right now. So peaceful 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 protest serves as a means of expressing discontent with government policies, action and actions. It can contribute to holding leaders accountable for their decision. As we tell already say in this case there's no justification for them to do it in a foreign land. And you know, so these people are enemy of Jamaica and the Jamaican people. So, however, it's crucial to ensure that demonstrations are conducted in a manner that uphold democratic norms and respect the rule of law. While dissent and criticism are essential components of a healthy democracy, it's equally important to prioritize national unity and stability and avoid actions that may undermine the integrity of democratic institutions. Promoting dialogue, understanding and collaboration among the stakeholders is essential for addressing the root causes of discontent and working towards solutions that benefits all Jamaicans. And this is not what these people are all about. By prioritizing transparency, accountability and respect for democratic principles, we can build a society that reflects our shared values and aspiration for higher for a brighter future for Jamaica and its people. Jamaican patriots are men like Hussein Bolt and Chris Gale, whom the PMP criminal organization labels as labor rights because they refuse to join the echo chamber of the PMP criminal organization and denounce the present government because of the SSL debacle. They have tried everything to recruit these men to speak out against the government in a negative way and so far all attempts by them have failed. 
So we are bestowing on these men as true Jamaican patriots who have waved the Jamaican flag high wherever they positively go around the, around the world and left constructive criticism about, about Jamaica to YouTubers like Jamaica Young Police Channel who are true Jamaican patriots from birth until now. So to you, Dr. Rupert Francis, Wilfred Rattigan and Mark Wallin, let us come together and pardon against partner against criminals in Jamaica to make the country a model island in Jamaica. In the Caribbean Sea, instead of being, uh, being the criminal paradise and the murder capital of the world. So that's all we have to say to you guys. And to um, the others, as we tell you now, we debate any of you guys, any day, any time, anywhere. Yeah, man, we debating about crime and criminality in Jamaica. And we take the pe Jamaican people know who is responsible for the monster that's right there. And we say it without any apologies. It's the PMP criminal organization. Sir P of the Jummy of the of politics what said it last week. You understand? Karen Karen Cross said it last week, said it this week. I tell the Jamaican people say PMP is a criminal organization. So when we have been telling people and it's the uh yeah labor now that they are getting it. So I would say Team Jamaica over here. And fire for all I treated them in a the in a foreign land. Jamaica, young police channel out.